Lassen up your hair They'll trip you up, give you a flat tire Or make your socks go missing in the dryer Yo, I make mischief anywhere And you may not even believe they're there But let me introduce you to my friend He's found a way to connect with them He's got a yokai, yokai box. He's gonna build a supernatural entourage He can talk to the spirits, he doesn't have to fear it And they're always gonna hear it Cause you know he's got a yokai watch the original Yokai Watch was a flawed but deeply enjoyable experience. I was pleasantly surprised to learn earlier this year that we would be getting the sequel Yokai Watch 2 Bony Spirits and Fleshly Souls. After having just completed the main story of Bony Spirits, I can say with full confidence that Yokai Watch 2 is a brilliant sequel. It fixes most of the issues I had with the original and implements an even better storyline. Be aware, however, there are some rough patches that could prove too much for some, so stay tuned to see if this game is for you. Yokai Watch takes place in a fictional town in Japan called Springdale. You control the young boy called Adam, who inherits a watch that allows him to see and fraternize spirits called Yokai. These yokai take many shapes and forms, but all of them are influenced by actual yokai found in Japanese culture. Some of these yokai like to cause trouble all over town, and it's your job to resolve those problems. Along the way, you'll battle, train, and capture many different yokai to help you during your quest. The actual plot never gets complicated, but the simple charm and humor of the characters help make Yokai Watch 2 entertaining from beginning to end. All the characters are voice acted too, and it feels like a big budget game. The same battle system from the original Yokai Watch makes a return here. This battle system is very divisive. Some find it boring and hate the fact that you don't have full control over your party's action. I myself find it quite enjoyable and have not since experienced something quite like this in any other video game. You have access to 6 different yokai during a battle, but only 3 at a time can take part in the battle. You can rotate the wheel to change the yokai currently active in battle by using a stylus. I love the fact that you need to do many different actions during a fight on the touchscreen below. It feels like you're actually active in the battle if that makes any sense. It can also prove intense during the boss battles as those are actually quite difficult. The final boss, just like in the original, will kick your ass a few times before you finally figure out a way to best it. One of my biggest gripe with the original Yokai was that capturing the critters is almost entirely based on luck. Unfortunately, not much has changed in Yokai Watch 2. Giving a Yokai its favorite food is supposed to give you better odds, but that doesn't guarantee success. Even worse is figuring out the favorite food of Yokai actually requires a Google search. Now, by targeting specific yokai, you can sometimes see what their favorite foods are, but I still have not figured out why that doesn't always work. I would much prefer a system like Pokemon, where catching a creature is based mostly on skill and not luck. This will prove even more frustrating in a part of the game where getting certain yokai is necessary to continue the plot. The questing system is the best improvement of Yokai Watch 2. The fetch quests have been dramatically reduced and you can have an arrow pointing you in the right direction at all times. I could have used a bit more dungeon crawling and less errand running, but compared to the original, Yokai 2 kept the game moving forward. I will say this though, I really hope they remove the stamina bar from Yokai Watch 3. It's completely useless and tedious for no reason. The most puzzling addition to Yokai Watch 2 and the one feature that was hammered by critics is the addition of a metro train system. About halfway through the game, you need to start riding the train to get to various places. The problem is, this feels too much like a metro simulator than it should. You actually need to ride the metro until a certain stop, get off, take another metro to reach your desired stop. And along the way, the train will stop at every location and ask you if you want to get out. The only thing this does is prolong the game by an hour or two. It doesn't add anything else. However, it didn't bother me as much simply because warp points are introduced at the same time as the metro. In the original game, by the time warp points were added, you were almost at the final boss. Still, if this sounds like something that will turn you off, it might be wise to not invest time and money here. Online play and trading is now a thing in Yokai 2, which is a very welcomed feature. A big chunk of the game takes place in the past, and it's fun to meet the characters from that timeline. Yokai Watch 2 also finally tells us what happened with Amy and Jibanayan in the original game. 
and I was very satisfied with the end result. I have to say again that boss battles absolutely steal the show. I love the battle system and having to target specific parts of the body is always fun. It might take you a few tries to figure out what to do during those instances. The main game took me 18 hours to complete but there is much more to do after that. If you have never played Yokai Watch but are interested in the series, I'd suggest starting with the original. It's a charming adventure that can be polished off in less than 15 hours and you can then jump in right into the sequel. There's no real difference between both versions of Yokai 2 besides some exclusive Yokai. The story is 100% identical as the faction you side with is entirely your choice no matter the version you pick. I found Yokai Watch 2 to be one of the best games I've played in 2016. I am very much aware of, of its flaws present but for some reason I was able to get past those and have a blast. Let's hope we get lucky and that Yokai Watch 3 makes its way to North America next year.